What's my policy? On mass shootings, what's my policy on it? There are a couple things. Long-time viewers will know what they are, but allow me to go over it again right now because I need to explain why we're not going to do 20 minutes on Buffalo today. One, I don't stand on the graves, on the bodies of freshly dead people in politics. I don't do it. I think it's despicable people who do do it. This all began really in this country under Barack Obama, where every mass shooting, he would run to the microphone, I've never seen anything like it, and start gun grabbing right away without hesitation. I think it tears apart the fabric of a nation when you do that. It does. The human body, the human mind, it needs time to mourn. You need time to mourn. That's why, that's why we have so many funeral rituals in different cultures. People have to come together and mourn. That's all. And when you immediately politicize the whole thing, you take away the ability for a society to do that, and it rips a society apart. It does. So that's one reason I don't do mass shootings. Two, I think it's the most disgraceful thing in the world. We can't develop a national, a national set of rules for these things, not laws, you know, just a, a set of rules people abide by, just out of the goodness of their hearts, that says, in the wake of a mass shooting, we never give out his name, we don't read his manifesto, we don't do any of these things. Yes, there are sick, freak, evil people in this world like this guy who need to be put down like dogs. So when they decide they're going to go out in a blaze of glory, they do these things so they can go out famously. They want to be famous. If we deny them that, then he goes and does his psycho thing in a much quieter, less destructive way. So I'm not going to give you his name. I'm not going to talk about the things that were in his manifesto. Haul him off to the electric chair and have a good day. Now, sadly, that way of thinking does not translate to most of this country. I hate it. I, I hate that Adam Schiff immediately comes out, immediately, two hours after the shooting was reported and says, angry that the GOP continues to block the most safety gun measures. Just immediately, immediately. Think about that. Think about, I want you to think about this. 10 people dead. Two hours after it was reported. So it's not outside of the realm of possibility that one of the people dead in that grocery store, their family, still didn't even know, or if they did know, just found out. Somebody's mom, dad, brother, son, sister died in there. Kids hadn't heard from him. Mom hadn't heard from him. Husband hadn't heard from him. And maybe at the moment the cops had to show up at the door and explain, sir, your wife's never coming home again, Democrats are gun grabbing. What are you doing? This is what divides a country. And of course, Joe Biden was the worst of them, unsurprisingly. The lone gunman, armed with weapons of war and hate-filled soul, shot and killed 10 innocent people in cold blood. The Justice Department has stated publicly that it is investigating the matter as a hate crime, racially motivated act of white supremacy and violent extremism. As they do, we must all work together to address the hate that remains a stain on the soul of America. Wow, it's awesome. Running up to Buffalo, getting, getting ahead of that white supremacy stuff. That is weird, though. I don't... Man, maybe I'm wrong. Mr. Producer, let me know if I'm wrong. I don't remember seeing a video like that after a black supremacist mowed down 70 white people in a Christmas parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Eight-year-old boy. He died that day, as well as several others. Nothing from Joe Biden. And again, th th this is the thing. Can't we just condemn all violence? Can't we condemn all disgusting race supremacy ideology? Isn't all of it gross? Well, no, it's not gross when you view everything in the lens of politics. Everything doesn't have to be seen that way. But that, again, because it is the communist religion, that's how he looks at it. Look at this disgusting pig, Anna Navarro. 
And listen, if you are an advertiser, advertising on that station, you are part of the problem. If you sit on the board and are trying to be a civilized person, Paul Ryan, my friend, I'm talking to you, you are part of the problem. Yep. If you're a Republican donor tweeting about how bad you feel about this, but you're donating to people like Elizabeth Stefanik, you are part of the problem. Yeah. If you are a staffer working for them, you are part of the problem. And also, if you are voting for them, you are part of the problem. And also, so I'll tell you what great replacement theory should be. We should replace all these people peddling hate and making financial yeah. and political gain from spreading racism. We should replace them with people who hold up American values. Look how quickly they decided who the enemy was, too. Not some psychopath up there in Buffalo who deserves to die. Almost immediately, while the bodies were still warm, while families were still getting the worst phone call you could ever get in your entire life, they decided, how can I use this for political reasons? Yeah, 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 people are dead, whatever. How can I use this for political reasons? We'll blame Republicans. Let's act like it was Republicans. And now we'll attack Republicans over it. How sick and depraved are these people? Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.